Good morning. Today I'm going to share with you the changes I've made in my skincare routine since I had my 70th birthday last October. I'm going to have a little chit chat and also there is a way you can get a prescription from your doctor for Retin-A, Tretinoin, and get it filled a lot cheaper here in the United States and I want to share that with you. You may already know but if you haven't it may save you a lot of money and I'm going to give you an update with about Jim. And because I'm talking about skincare, I don't have any makeup on my face. I do have lipstick and I have mascara and eyeliner and just stuff to glue my brows down because they're kind of wiry. I didn't put even concealer even though I wanted to because I want you to see my skin. I want you to see what I'm talking about. And I do have dark areas right in here. And the last video I filmed was my morning skincare. I want to reduce things as much as I possibly can. I don't enjoy skincare, but I do think that it has been very beneficial for my skin. And the quality of my skin, the healthiness of my skin, the texture is much better than it was 15 years ago. And don't ever start anybody's skincare where they are. Because I've been doing this now for 10, it'll be 10 years in August that I started using Retin-A. But my very first step is go into the bathroom. I use a makeup eraser. This one I looked up, I got it in a FabFitFun box in 2018. But there are dupes on Amazon that are really, really good. This one just looks like it's, I like the size of it. It's just like perfect. Anyway, I just put warm water on my face and I just cleanse my face without using any type of cleanser. I found one that I used to use Purity for like 20 some years. I'm a copycat and Tamara from Tamara's Timeless Beauty spoke about the prequel and it is a cleanser because it has glycerin in it. I just use a very small amount, about that much. I, I wet my face, I put it on my skin. It takes off my eye makeup, my mascara, it takes off everything. And it doesn't, it doesn't suds up, but it kind of foams. And it just makes my skin feel great. I didn't think I'd ever find anything that I liked as well as Purity, but I like this better. And I know I spoke about it recently, but that's my very first step in skincare. And I usually cleanse my face late afternoon, early evening. And right after I do that, after my skin is dry, I use my Omnilux mask, which will be, it'll be two years in May next month. And I'll put my Omnilux playlist below or at the end or someplace. It's a mask that looks like this and it's really helped my skin. It's, made, it's enabled me to use less product on my skin. And I think that is wonderful for me because this is so easy. And I don't use anything under it. I don't take any of the vitamins. I don't, I'm thinking about maybe at some point trying a serum that's not from Omnilux. I might buy that, I'm not sure. But right now, and for the last almost two years, I just do it on clean, dry skin. And I always do the Omnilux mask on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's how I keep things straight. Omnilux on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. My earlier videos, I spoke about, I turn, when I'm done, I turn the Omnilux mask on and put the corner on my mouth for an additional three minutes. I used to always use a red light therapy mask on my lips until it quit, and it was several years ago that it quit, so I want the extra on my lips. Now, this is where it is a pretty big change for me. I use Retin-A or the generic is Tretinoin. I used it four to five times a week uh, every, at night and I've cut back. Last October, I started using it three days a week, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. But I thought I knew I needed something else. And again, I'm a copycat. I heard Penn Smith from Penn Smith Skincare speak very highly of the Needless Serum from dermatology and I purchased this my I, I purchased my skincare. I don't I don't want I want to pay for what I use. So I put the retin-a on right before I go to bed is when I usually do. So on Tuesday and Thursday I use retin-a. On Monday, Wednesday and Friday I use a serum and I use three drops and that covers my face and my neck every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And on Tuesday and Thursdays I use retin-a on my neck and on my face. 
And I, I, when I ran out of cacao oil last time, it was probably about eight months ago, I didn't buy any more. It always, I mean, I, st I still liked it, but for so many years, I had a 40% off discount. I think it was $38.90. And at Amazon, I had a discount that you all, so many of you used, and you got 40% off. But I paid for quite a few that didn't get the percentage off. But I just thought, well, I'm gonna try something different. And I don't know how long this is going to last. I would imagine it's going to last six months because I'm only using three drops. Three. It may last longer than that. It may last eight months. But when it's done, I'll let you know. If my skin feels dry, which it hasn't in, oh, in, a, in probably two or three weeks, I will put a moisturizer, just a light amount. I just realized something. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I didn't realize I used two dermatology products at night. My It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream that I used to use in the morning, I ran out of it and I didn't want to buy it again because I don't know if they reformulated it, but if they didn't, they were probably going to. So I moved my nighttime eye cream, which is a timeless hydrating eye cream. I moved that to morning. I've tried not using an eye cream and I just, I need an eye cream. So I bought the HPR eye cream. I bought it in the fall and started using it, I really don't know, probably about three months ago. And here's how much I use. It's a pump bottle. Oh, I always get too much when I'm showing you. That amount right there will do both eyes and that's not much at all. So I know this is like 0 0.5 fluid ounces and that's how much it was in the jar of the It uh, Under Eye Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. So I think this will probably last a year, but we'll see. But that is it. Those are the three products I use, and I, I do use the eye cream every night. And on Saturday and Sunday, I don't, of course, I don't use the Retin A, and I don't use um, the Needless Serum. So I'm off on the weekend. So I got to take the weekends off. And I'm going to mention something that uh, a lot of you that have been with me, you'll laugh because I'm going to mention the Floxite 15 times magnification mirror. I've had mine for, it'll be 18 years next month. I examine my skin every morning and every night. Well, I try to, I try to, but I can see what's going on with my skin. I can, if I needed to, I could adjust something, but I am so pleased on what's going on now but i'll just see if it keeps it stable every day you know i keep getting another day older which is a wonderful thing i get my prescription for retin-a tretinoin from my health care provider and i always ask for a paper prescription i go once a year and get the prescription my insurance will not cover it and a lot of people some people's will some some people's don't and it's about two hundred dollars for a large tube it is around here anyway so what I've always done is I go get online and I'm gonna type this in. These are, these are no links for me at all. When, anytime when I write something on the screen and I don't put it below, I don't want you to get confused below when I, you know, on the information where I do put links. Those are all things that I could potentially, I should earn some money if you click on my link. Sometimes you don't, but, but you should. So I like to put in the websites on the screen so you can look them up on your own. And I, so I don't, I don't want to muddy any waters. You know, I want to do everything like I'm supposed to do it. Well, goodrx.com is someplace you can go, put in your zip code and you can find the best price in your area. Just before I filmed, I got on my computer. That's what I always do, I use a laptop. I can't do anything on a phone, hardly at all. But anyway, I went to goodrx.com and I put the word tretinoin and I put my zip code. All the different drugstores in the area popped up and it will tell you what the lowest price is. Sometimes you can get like an extremely low price, like $29 for a 45 gram tube, which is the big tube. That's what I get and one will last me a year or over. But it's usually like if you transfer a prescription. I don't do that. I just, CVS usually has it the best price and it was $56.29 for the 45 gram tube. I have been using the 0.05% since October. In our local drugstores, you know, around the area, you can get the 0.025, 
the 0 0.05 and the 0.1%, and that's the strongest. So that's one way to save money. And the other way to save money is the Mark Cuban Pharmacy, which is cost plus drugs. I'll type it up in here. I get my generic Tethys in there. It is, I can get it home to me with the shipping and all that for, for like a little under $50 for 90 days. And if I buy it, even with my insurance, it's 400 and some dollars for 90 days. And I, I go to my local drugstore for so many things, but if I can save that much money, I do. And it's just for generic medicine. Well, I've been looking and waiting for retin or Tretinoin to be on the Mark Cuban website, and it is. In fact, their website, as of today, had the 0.01%. That's the weakest I've ever heard of. And they also have the 0 0.025. So those two strengths are available on their website. And you know, there you have to send a prescription. I've told a couple of doctors about the Mark Cuban website. They weren't familiar with it. And they it's, it's a legitimate pharmacy that charges, in most cases, a lot less. But in the case of Retin-A, it wasn't. 0.25% for a 15 gram tube, which, which is three times smaller than this. For one of them was 37.63 when I can buy three times more for 56.29. It's a good thing to talk to your doctor about if you take some generic drugs that are expensive. If you're curious, just go to goodrx.com or cost plusdrugs.com. That's the Mark Cuban ph Pharmacy, and you can read all about them. If you're still here, and if any of that made sense, <laughs> this is going to be a giveaway. Today, I want to give away three $100 e-gift cards or a deposit to your PayPal. And some places are hard to get e-gift cards, so I'll get it wherever I can that you want. Uh, yeah, and you, all you have to be is 18 years old or older. You don't need to be subscribed. You just have to leave a comment below. And I, I give a key word, and I'm trying to think. I think I know what I would like you to do. In a sentence below, I would like you to use the word kind, K-I-N-D. And there's many definitions of kind. What kind of TV do you like? What kind of chocolate do you like? What, what kind of dessert is your favorite? Uh, something that someone does is kind. So just, uh, and then what I do is I put the, I search for the word kind and I pay extra for that. I pay $7 a month so I can uh, <laughs> look for the word. So I, because I want who wants to be in the giveaway to be in the giveaway. And what I will do is I announce it on my next video that I upload, which should be in two weeks, but I'll talk about that in a minute. It may not be, we'll, we'll just see. But that's all you have to do. Okay, I drove to St. Louis. I'm gonna do a really quick recap. Jim's had an area on his head that has he has been dealing with for over a year. And our a, a local plastic surgeon that was going to remove it sent us to Washington University in uh, St. Louis. And last video I talked about, you know, I wanted to drive and uh, Jim's son went with us, which was a blessing, but I wanted to drive. So I drove there and I did just fine. I just went right up there. It could not have been a better experience. That campus is huge. And we went to the Siteman Center, everything. Thing. We had valet parking. There's someone that I know that works there. I didn't get to meet her, but if we go back for surgery, I'm sure I'm sure we will get to meet somebody I know that I haven't met. I know so many of you, and we haven't met yet. They thought it was a cyst that wouldn't heal. Anyway, we found out before we went what we were dealing with, but it probably has been all the time. But what had happened is how we understand it. Jim's one of his sinuses. He must have gotten an infection in it. Well, we found out it is a much bigger deal than what we had anticipated. We saw two surgeons, specialists, when we went last time. We're gonna go back and see two more. And it sounds like a pretty big surgery that uh, I'm praying that there is going to be another choice, but um, yeah. 
So I may or may not be able to upload videos. You know that um, I'll be back when I can and and uh, it'll be okay. And my mind has just been all over the place, but it is all good. It is all good. I appreciate you and your thoughts and your prayers and your every, everything just is so important and, and special to me. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Oh my gosh, it'll... Hmm. I want to share with you, and since it... And because... It, oops, I don't have... And anyway, forget people don't always... And you can't... In my... And I really do. I mean, I didn't always...